All right, we are back now coming out on 512 on this Monday and many of us have to go back to work this morning. Uh, a lot of us were working or off Thursday when we had all that snow there. Uh, now it looks like we're going to deal with another winter storm. A little different animal though this morning. Uh, the good news is some of the latest information would not have those amounts quite as high, so that'll probably make a lot of people happy. A couple differences, though, from last week is the content of the snow will be much drier. It's not going to be that wet snow, so it's going to be fluffy. And the other thing that's a big impact is wind. So several inches of snow still expected in the metro today, and north winds gusting at 30 will create a lot of blowing and drifting. So that may actually cause more travel problems than what we saw last Thursday, even though we may ultimately end up with a little bit of less accumulation there. So keep that in mind. Uh, it is much colder. We're in the mid-teens right now. We try to work back to the mid-20s this afternoon. Obviously, with all that said, some slick spots certainly in place here. All right, old snow cover still on the ground at Gretna again, 31 and I-80. The interchange there as you get on to interstate from the highway there. Uh, still mainly dry, cloudy 15 with north winds at 15 and the wind chill factor is down to zero. You can see single digits to the northwest, lower 20s to the southeast and where you get in this darker blue, the air is a little moist, a little bit damper and that's where we're actually starting to see the snow come down. Uh, it's trying to happen here. We're just trying to saturate the atmosphere. It's so dry at the surface. The radar looks impressive, but some of this not yet hitting the ground, although to the south, that's a little bit different story. We're starting to see that snow come down, make it to the surface, southeastern Nebraska, southwestern Iowa, northwestern Missouri. In fact, uh, the intensity's picked up quite a bit as well. A couple of things to point out here. We used this mode a lot on Thursday. It really did a good job of telling the story and showing where we kept seeing the purples, where we ultimately got six to eight, nine, locally 10 inches of snow. So uh, right now, looking at this, the heaviest snow axis likely to set up in the same area through the day. I think ultimately we'll see some of the heavier mounts, extreme southeastern Nebraska, into northwestern Missouri, southwest, ultimately into central Iowa. Uh, this will eventually back in. We'll start to see our intensity pick up a little bit. Again, the storm just has to come a little farther north, which it will. It does appear it's going to swing and kick a little bit farther east, which would limit our amounts a little bit, take the heaviest snow band with it. But uh, again, still a massive enough storm, still broad enough and close enough to us to give us several inches of snow. In fact, you can kind of see our computer model doing a pretty good job here. Temps about right. Uh, it's trying to saturate the atmosphere with snow at least aloft. And then you can see some of these medium bands pushing right back into the eastern part of the metro there and kind of hanging on through about mid to late morning. Then with the shift in the track, at least based on the latest information, that would take the deeper moisture and the slightly heavier snow just to the east of us. Things will taper, but again, a lot of wind, at least through early this evening, creating some blowing and drifting snow. So amounts again, very light out over central Nebraska. Looks like we'll see probably about two to four in Lincoln. And then it picks up, I'd say four to six locally, seven here in the metro. Best bets for the heaviest snow though, again, southwestern Iowa, extreme northwestern Missouri, and especially into central Iowa based on the latest information. So for today, a lot of snow and wind, north winds gusting up to 30. Temperatures don't warm a whole lot, only getting back to about 25. And again, though, the amounts of snow, maybe not quite as much as what it looked like yesterday afternoon or evening, still very appreciable. And the one thing that can't be overlooked is the wind. When you start blowing the snow around, it reduces visibility. Uh, plows come and clear the roads, it blows right back on there. And if we get upwards of six, that is certainly enough that's going to keep travel uh, as a very large impact, at least through this Monday here. So uh, keep that snow and blowing snow definitely going to hamper things out there today. All right, and with that being said, not a bad idea to download our Snowcast app. You can do that to your smartphone, get a detailed look at the forecast. Also, you can track all this and the snow projection. You can actually see the shift now with some of the deeper colors. I was just looking at it from Omaha and especially just to the east, and that's based on the latest information. But again, mind you, um, I've been doing this for a while now. I don't always completely buy into those midnight model runs. I've seen it where it was doing, if you're watching John last night, then all of a sudden it cuts it in half and then it comes back around on the morning runs and gets back to the similar solution. So uh, we'll watch and see, but indications are there's some agreement and based on even looking at the radar trend, it's gonna try to take that a little bit east, although the storm's still in Texas, so and it's been cut off from the main flow. So it could still have a mind of its own. We're not out of the woods yet, but indications are a little bit less than it otherwise looked to be. It's almost kind of like a hurricane where these things kind of yes, weeble is, and wobble Matt. just a little <laughs> bit before it makes landfall. So we'll see which way it weebles and which yeah. way it wobbles for the next number of hours. It's going to make all the difference. Time now is 516. More winter storm coverage when KMTV Action 3 News this morning.